Hi there guys, so this is the Devil Stocks YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up the HTML5 video plugin for your channel CK because of this. So, um, so far, if you've been following this series, you see that we've been able to I'm able to show you how you can set up the Django CK editor for your admin dashboard, you can see here, and also how you can set it up on your front end. And also, we I showed you how you can set up the code snippets for your text editor, and now you can also add the highlights. That's how you can change the colors. So in this one. This video I'm going to be showing you how you can add the HTML5 uh, video plugin. So I already wrote an um, article about the process, so I'm just going to follow that uh, the steps in those and so the steps in the article. So uh, don't worry, I will leave a link down to the article in the description. So this is right here on the DevMister's website. So as you can see, I'll be using uh, Django CK Editor 6.2.0 and uh, yeah, if you are following this series, you already have checked all these fields right here. So, uh, okay, one important thing to note is that uh, when you want to use the HTML5 feature plugin, obviously it's for uploading, so you can't just use the rich text field you have to use the rich text upload if you that's i'm talking about right here in your models.py right here you have to use this particular field right here for it so uh, the first thing that you got to do now is you go to this link this will take you this is a direct link to the html5 video plugin so can come to this place you just scroll down and you click on download Let's see okay so it's going to start downloading automatically i already have it downloaded on my system so i'm not going to download it again okay we've done that going to be downloaded as a zip file then okay so you just go to your download folder mine if i'm not mistaken where did i put it last time it was right here so as you can see this is right here it's not even big just 28 kilobytes so you now click on copy desktop assets okay so this is this right here you paste it and then that then you now extract it you get a folder like this click on it i'm mistaken that's what you should do okay yeah uh, okay so next thing that you have to do now is uh, go to your static directory that's right here the root directory right here not this one that's here you create a new folder in this place we call it ck editor editor yeah okay if i'm not mistaken that is actually a pretty folder name is CK editor. Open the folder and create another folder within it and name that one CK editor as well. So, okay, not a file folder. Uh, CK editor. Okay. Let me see what's next. Uh, open the directory. That's this one right here. And create a folder and make plugins. Okay. That's this uh, second folder that you created. You create a new folder inside it as well and name it. Plugins. I'm mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Now, finally, inside the plugin folder, paste in the HTML5 video folder. Okay. Let me see. This is the HTML. We don't need this. We just need this. So you copy this. Go to uh, the location of your projects. Mine is. Where is it? 
okay mine is here so as you can see we have the ck editor when you open it there's another ck editor folder inside and then you have the plugins folder and then finally you have this here just paste it here. you can see like this yeah i think yeah that's it static ck editor ck editor plugins htm5 video okay so now um i know we had uh configuration settings for static files before but we need to uh, add a few more things so just copy this right here and go to settings.py and just use it to replace this whole one as the one that was there before most of them are the same but just to be safe replace it so uh, yeah this is how it's going to be now if i forget there's one more thing that you need to add go to your projects here ui uh, i believe this was not in the video but you need to add this line right here url patterns static url so i will uh you can find this code in the blog so you'll be able to copy it and add it as well so uh, let me see what's next okay so the next thing to do now is just to add this to the configuration settings for ck editor so really okay remember this is for code snippets so you can add this one here for the item my video so okay let's refresh the page now and see what we get you see if you see this icon that means it's uh, working correctly so let me check the back end also show so let me refresh it here okay so now let's attempt to add a video to our blog okay so let's see ML5 video plugin integration. Can go editor. Okay, yeah. I believe I missed it right. So let me see which video am I going to use. Um, example video. So you just click on this. When you click on this, then can click on this place to upload the video. So uh, I'm going to be using some item. So click on it. Then um, let me see. Send to server. Okay, you can select. Uh, this is for responsive width. You click on this, you're able to show controls or. Okay, let me not change anything yet. Let me just upload it so that you see what I mean. You can see. Okay. Let me submit it so that you see. Can you see? Okay, what did I do wrong here? Let me check the back end. Oh, 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 I know why it's not working. Okay, um, you know, I didn't select that control show and I didn't select auto play. So uh, let me see, let me select auto play and auto loop 40 guess. Yeah. Yeah. So if I refresh it now. Okay, why is it so? Let me see. Uh, okay. Let me do this again. Oh, the form and page uh, was resubmitting. Let me let me add it again now. Example. Video. 
as I do video for this channel. Video. Login. Integration. Integration by video coming to each other. Okay. May upload it again. It's uh, first of all. Okay. Send it to server. Click on show controls this time. Okay. Then submit it. As you can see right here. Uh, let me reduce the volume a little bit. So click on play. And see. Select full screen. Okay. Okay. So I can use it to control the speed. So uh, I'm going to have to fix that for some reason when I refresh the page, the form was resubmitting itself. So, so uh, let me see again. Let me show you some visible some configuration. Let's say you want to like um you have to work on the okay, yeah. Look at this configuration. So I check this one. If you select it, the video will automatically start playing it by itself. And if you select this one also to yes, that's look to yes. The video when it finishes is going to start playing again. So uh let me just set it. Let me save it. Okay, uh, refresh the page. Okay, why is it not working? No, no. Let me see. Okay, refresh it again. Wow, for some reason it's not picking up on the front end for okay, maybe it's probably just as excited. So I'll check on that and get back to you guys. But okay. let me let me stop this first. Auto play no. Okay, so uh let me show you how you can okay, click on this and how you can specify the width and height of the video. So let's say you want it to be just from um, let's say 50 percent. The percentage even work on this. Let me see. Okay, I think it works. Let me save it and refresh the page on the front end. Let's see how it looks. Okay, as you can see, it's smaller now. It's just taking up 50 percent of the width. Uh, let me see, are there any other configurations? I'm sure you guys will be able to get a hang of it. So, this is for selecting the alignment. As you can see, currently it's centered, so maybe you want to align it to the left to the right. So let me align it to the right now. Okay. See this loop is yes. Let's test that out. As you can see, and align to the right. Let me refresh the page. See, align to the right. So let me test out that loop stuff. So you can see the video is playing. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um okay. Okay, as you can see it started back again. So the loop obviously works. So that's all for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how you can add HTML5 video for the Django CK editor. So, as you know, we had to go to the CK editor site and manually download the HTML5 plugin ourselves because it doesn't come default with Django CK editor. And then we have to follow obviously the steps right here before we were able to use it in our CK editor project. So, what's uh, what this obviously does is configurations right here and also 
there is another one that's this one right here is to ensure that uh, when Django is looking for static files in your project also checks this directory right here so for example if you want to collect static uh, let me do it quickly so that you see if you want to collect static in your project that's for production environment because obviously it's not going to be using this it's going to be using the folder that you specified in your static um, yeah it's going to be using this folder right here so on production it's going to run collect static that's when you want to post your website online so you can see okay as you can see can you see it has uh, uh all the it copied all the files for ck editor and then if you check amongst the plugins you will see that html5 well, is among them so what that means is that when you follow the settings that i've laid out the ones that i followed in this video when you finally post the project online you still be able to use the html5 plugin so that's all for now uh, and i'll see you guys in the next video